Okay, so this is going to be a tour of my room here at the Spring Hill Suites in Andover, Massachusetts. Now, one thing you'll notice right away, this room is huge. It's very long. And it has tons of space. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut to the quick and say, I really like this place. This is a huge improvement on the other property that I was on. I think it was in Peabody. That place was a literal, basically a junkyard. But this place definitely lives more up to Marriott standards, so I'm happy to say that. But anyway, let's just go ahead and start with the room tour. Start over here in the entry door. It's very wide. You can see it has a door closer and a peephole. That's very worn. There's room across the hall. And then here's a map in case of emergency. Over here you have a little uh, deadbolt. Another one down here, which works. It's actually electronic. And then there's also this little placard that you put outside if you need privacy. And of course the main handle. Can't forget about that. And over here you have some controls. This switch controls this lamp right here. And these are actually controls for this ceiling fan right here. So that's a nice touch. They put the fan in the room. My lens is kind of dirty. Hang on. There. But yeah, the ceiling fan is definitely a nice touch. It has six speeds and six brightness settings. It is a smart ceiling fan. Why isn't this thing focusing? There we go. It is a smart ceiling fan, but the hotel obviously has the smart features disabled. But yeah, it's a really nice fan. So yeah, that's what this controller is for. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the entry area. Oh, I forgot to say about this lamp. It can also be controlled by its internal switch right here. As you can see, it's very bright. There's the bulb. I believe it's an LED. You can see it has some stains on it, but it's no biggie. And the uh, shade's a little loose. Over here is a Davenport, which does have a hide -a bed which I'll show later in this video. And over here is like a little makeshift coffee table sort of thing with this wooden tray on top of an ottoman. It's kind of an interesting concept. And it has this little advertisement here. And there's an outlet, one of which is being used up by this lamp. There's a nice big picture frame here that adds some character. There's another one over here on this wall. Over here is the LG 40 inch flat screen TV. It is a smart TV and it fully works. Here's the remote. It does have an Indiglo. It's an Enzio. No smoking property, $250 fine. Here are the room keys. As you can see, I have two of them. If they want to go back in their pouch, there we go. I am currently in room 405. You can see the TV has some minor scratches on it, but whatever. And back here you can see the ports, which are actually pretty easy to access. And the smart TV chip, which is way back there. You can see it says NZO on it. So yeah. And over here is a little kitchenette slash desk area, which we'll have a look at. These snacks you can go ahead and disregard. I brought these myself. They didn't come with the room at all. Over here is an ice container, as you can see. And you got some plastic cups. A coffee machine. And it shows you how to use it. It has an outlet with a GFCI that we'll go ahead and test. You can see it works. And you have some coffee right here, both caffeinated and decaffeinated, with some paper cups and some heat protective cardboard. Over here is a sink. It's got okay water pressure. Although it has, it turns off kind of slow. It's an American standard and the faucet does swivel as you can see. Got a little face cloth right here. And under here we have some stuff. Here's a microwave. It's pretty small, but you can fit, you know, an average size dish in there and it does have a light. You can see the clock is working. Down here you have a couple cabinets. You can see the plumbing for the sink under there and there's a few stains. Here's the other cabinet, which is in slightly better condition. And here is a Seasons mini fridge. As you can see, and it does have a freezer compartment, as you can see, and it is, um, it can be controlled readily, so that's nice, you don't have to, uh, be stuck with that, you know, stingy digital control that only the front desk can control, although I have trouble closing this sometimes, it gets stuck right here, and then you have to force it, so that's kind of annoying, and then there's a switch right here that controls these lights above the sink, there's a random junction box, 
sand fan again. Over here is a sprinkler with a no hanging sign. And here's that desk I pointed out earlier with this little thing here, pause to read. And it also has this advertisement and this lamp right here. So you can see I'll go ahead and leave it on. It does have a USB on it. And over there is another USB. So yeah, you can see the wire goes under the desk and into an outlet that's behind this wooden thing right here. You can see over here is a charging station. And here is an office chair, as you can see. So yeah, pretty nifty little area over here. Over here you do have trash and recycling. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we do have a Footbuster 9000 in this room. And um, before I forget, these rooms have been newly renovated. So all these rugs and stuff are brand new. Actually, a lot of the furniture is new. This is new. This is new. I, th I think pretty much all the furniture in this room is new. Even the ceiling fan. I think they used to have old huggers in here before. Um, but yeah, I really do think the renovations have come a long way with this place. Um, I can't imagine what this place was like before. But anyway, up here is a Gentex Commander 3 remote horn. Oh, and I forgot to mention over here is another smoke detector. Well, rather the first smoke detector. It's a Kitty uh, smoke and CO combo. And over here into the bedroom area, here are the two queen-size beds. As you can see, I did already check the uh, covers and they are clean. So props Marriott for cleaning the covers. And I'll go ahead and test it out. Oh, this bed's perfect. Just the right amount of firmness. However, I do think that the pillows are a little soft. I noticed that the pillows on, these, on this bed over here are a little more firm, but still not quite to my liking. And over here is the nightstand, as you can see, with a service phone, a note sheet with a pen, charging station, and this Conair alarm clock, which does have MP3 line in. Where's the thing? There it is. And it does have a USB charging port on it as well. So that's nice. And here's a little drawer here with the Book of Mormon and the Good Book. And there's a little cubby here. I guess you can put shoes. And it's got these little drapey things here. And I guess this is like part of the cot. You see? So, yeah. And over here is the HVAC system. It is an Amana. This one was originally being controlled by this thermostat over here. However, I've been having all kinds of problems with this thing, so I just went ahead and bypassed it in the, uh, in the config. So now I have it being controlled locally, as you can see. Much better that way. So yeah, and here's the view from the fourth floor of the hotel. You can see it's nighttime and all the street lights are on. This does have a blackout shade as well as some curtains for privacy. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there is reading lights on for, um, for each bed. You can see it's got these nice cushy headboards. And in the middle, it does have this light as well. It has two bulbs which should be controlled separately so it can be half lit, as you can see. So that's nice. You can see there's some conduit running down to the floor. And there's another outlet right there. So yeah, and over here is a closet. So you can see it has some extra bed sheets for the uh, hide -a bed Iron, ironing board, and a luggage rack. And over here is a hair dryer and the uh, laundry basket or laundry bag. They do have coin op laundry here. So yeah, and there's another outlet and a random junction box there. And notice how the rug kind of goes up the wall a little bit, as you can see. The wall kind of has this cool texture. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the main part of the room. Oh, by the way, there's another sprinkler up here and another smoke and CO combo alarm. So yeah. And now into the bathroom, which is very dark. So let's get some light in here. There we go, that's better. You can see it does have lights around the mirror, although I wish they were brighter. You can see, mirror's nice and big, perfectly good for shaving and doing makeup. But again, it should be brighter. Sink does work. Again, okay water pressure. And here's some bar soap, which is actually still a little wet. So I'll go ahead and dry my hand. Got tons of towels over here and face cloths. 
I think they kind of went crazy, actually. <laughs> you can see under here is some trash and some tissues. And over here is a GFCI that we'll go ahead and test. You can see it works. And notice how the wallpaper here looks like leaves, so that's kind of cool, I guess. And over here is another mirror and a fire sprinkler with another no hanging sign. They have to put these everywhere because people are stupid. So yeah, learn your lessons, people. Anyway, into the toilet area. Go ahead and turn on the light. And the fan comes on with the light. Go ahead and close the door. And this lock does work, as you can see. Notice that the floor is tiled. So yeah, not too much space in here, but also not bad. Over here is a door stopper, an above ground one this time. Here's another little placard here, which just fell off. Huh. Some shower towels. And here's the commode. It is a American Standard, six liters per flush. There we go. And you do have some toilet paper here with a spare roll in the back. And you have another hook right here. And now into the shower bath combo. You can see it does have an arch shower curtain with a dual layered curtain. So that's nice. And you can see it does have weights on the bottom. Are they weights? No, they're magnets. That's nice. I like that. And you got a little floor mat here. And then you got some amenities here. You got shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, which is really hard to read because the contrast is really not great on these. <laughs> 88 compliant handle. Here's the faucet, which I have not tested yet, but I'm assuming this is new as well because look, look, it's in immaculate condition. There's like no mold buildup on it at all. That's a first. You can see it does have different modes because it looks like the, uh, the head can be rotated. So yeah, and here's the temperature control, bath faucet, overflow drain, and the main drain with a lever to clog it. So yeah, notice how the uh, the walls kind of look like marble in here, so that's unique. And I guess we can go ahead and test the uh, the shower pressure. I'll go ahead and put my camera over here. Go ahead and turn on the shower. Okay, decent, but not the best I've seen. A little weak. definitely be good for a massage type shower. Go ahead and dry my hands so I don't get the camera too wet. But yeah, not bad. Oh, wow, that is loud. <laughs> and let's get out of the toilet area because we've seen pretty much everything in here. I do like that light fixture, by the way. I have a similar light fixture in my house. So yeah, turn off the light. But yeah. Oh, and another thing about this window is that it does open. You can see there's this little button behind this handle that you push. It's kind of hard to do. And then you just pull. Oh, there we go. And it only opens to there for safety reasons, although it does have a screen. And then you just kind of pull it to close it. Oh. Yeah, this thing's really heavy. And notice it does have curtain rods as well. So yeah, and I like that they're clear. It gives a cool aesthetic. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the for this room tour. I mean, it's the simple room, you know, it's spacious. It's not really anything too fancy. It's just, you know, perfect for short little stays. Overall, thumbs up from me. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy this and that'll be it. Oh, actually, I almost forgot about this. Let's go ahead and show this real quick. This is actually a trundle bed, so this is on wheels, and it detaches completely from the couch. So you can put this pretty much anywhere in the room that you please. Although, it's kind of weird that it's so low, but it works, I guess. Oh, by the way, the mattress does look nice and clean, so that's a plus. Go ahead and put this back in. Gonna be kind of hard doing it while holding the camera at the same time. Oh, this thing's heavy. Oh, and by the way, with this couch, unlike the one at the other Spring Hill Suites, this one's actually comfortable to sit on. And it does come with this nice log pillow. So yeah, 
Now that's it. Peace out.